Southern Company, just out with earnings this hour. Join us now to talk through the numbers, uh, the pandemic impact on his business, and the reopening of states. Thomas Fanning, president and CEO of Southern Company. The reopening of states, we said that so innocuously. W where are you headquartered, Tom? Uh, we're in Atlanta, in <laughs> Georgia. You, but, you, you know, we've got, we're virtually in all 50 states. But, but you catch my drift. Uh, so you, you can speak to all these different things, but Georgia, <laughs> uh, obviously controversially to some, the, the governor there, opening before a lot of people uh, think it's time. Just before we get into to, to that uh, discussion, tell us how operating your company right now and advising other people, including the, the, the administration and other utility uh, companies, how has that, how have you been managing and, and, and what's the environment for utilities? Well, you know, actually, we've been managing really well. Our company had a heck of a quarter, 78 cents relative to, I think, consensus of 71. And, and I think part of that includes a coronavirus effect. Uh, and, and the other thing, Joe, is just fascinating is we had some of these early spring storms, big tornadoes and some other things, Easter weekend and other, and operating under what we call our coronavirus protocol, we're actually doing pretty well. You know that I help lead uh, the electricity industry in things like hurricane response and snowstorms and all that, including cyber and national security physical issues. We also now have picked up the mantle on our industry response to the coronavirus. You know this industry can never take a day off anyway. So we're one of these businesses that is fundamental to you know kind of continuing our American way of life. And we've actually been doing really well. There are big issues, you point out, Georgia particularly, but I think one of the things that's really important to us is harmonizing the response of the federal government to the states. You know, we're heading into hurricane season. We got to make sure that, uh, as we have historically done, we've provided mutual assistance from all over the United States to a, an affected area. We got to make sure that we're going to be able to do that well. I believe we will. I mean, other than, than the uh, sort of executive team, most of your guys are, are out in the field, can't they? Can wear masks and stay uh, separated, can't they? Have you furloughed anyone? Have you, lay, you haven't had to lay off anyone, have you? No, zero. In fact, you know, we really take that very seriously. We've made a commitment as long as we can not to furlough anybody. So we're working very hard across the system not to do that. now. Um, we have had over half our workforce now telecommuting, and that's worked pretty well. So I think, you know, we're considering a, a phase in at the right time. Again, we got to harmonize federal, state, and local kind of responses and what our actual experience is to the coronavirus. But we have a phased in approach, and uh, I, I look forward to the day things get back to normal. But until then, uh, we may see some permanent differences as a result of all this. Yeah, Tom, I was going to ask you about that. Permanent differences in, in terms of having staff that is working from home more frequently. But I also wonder what kind of energy changes you've seen with, with corporate usage down and home usage probably up. I don't know how that balances out. No, Becky, you're right on the money. Uh, the, the kind of fun way to think about it is the normal days right now during the depths of the response to the virus, it looks like a very strong weekend day. Uh, so what you see is, you know, I think some moderate reductions in industrial, uh, <clears throat> much more severe responses in commercial, but residential is significantly up. And so you kind of add all that together. That is what it looks like. Our critical infrastructure personnel remain at work. Uh, so what we're doing is taking those folks that otherwise work in offices or marketing or something like that, and they are telecommuting. It's actually working pretty effectively. I, I do miss the interpersonal connection and all that, but uh, otherwise we're able to sustain a really good business right now. And, and interestingly, this has the unexpected benefit <clears throat> of reducing cost. So as we have reduced revenue, we've been able to follow that with reduced cost and maintain our bottom line. You can see the results in the first quarter. Tom, were you a fan of uh, what Governor Kemp did, or did you think that, that it was uh, too much too soon? Where, where did you come down on all that? 
You know, I, I, I don't want to paint that with a brush. He has a very phased in approach. And I think okay. that's what we all have to consider. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, Great. I think business is phased in. But... Okay. Uh, they're playing us out. Thank you, uh, Tom Fanning, and, and good luck navigating through all this. We'll see you again uh, soon as we, we normally do.